So last video we learned what ACWP, BCWP, and BCWS are. Um, in this video I will be introducing what the cost performance index is and the cost variance. So first of all, cost performance index, uh, it's a ratio of just the budgeted cost to the actual cost. Um, if we get this ratio, if we get the CPI is greater than one, uh, we'll have the we'll know that the project is under budget and that's a good thing. And if we get the CPI is less than one, uh, this tells us that the project is over budget and that's a bad thing. Then we have the cost variance, which is the difference between the budgeted cost and the actual cost. And if we find that the cost variance is a negative value, then the project is over budget and that's not a good thing. And if we find that it's a positive value, then we'll find that the project is under budget and that's a good thing. So let's take a look at the example from the last video. Let's find out uh, the CPI. Uh, so we have CPI is equal to BCWP. We had 800 over B uh, ACWP, which is over 1000. So that gives us a value of 0 0.8. Now that's 1,000. Uh, that gives us a value of 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is less than 1. So for the CPI, this project is over budget. So we get a big frown face. Uh, for cost variance, this is the other way to find out if, because these both tell us if the project is over budget or over, under budget. It's just two different ways. Uh, so the CV, uh, cost variance, we would have uh, BCWP, so we have 800 minus ACWP, which is 1,000, and that gives us uh, negative 200, and that number is less than zero, which confirms that this project is over budget, so we're going to get a big frown face for that. All right, I will see you in the next video, and we will learn the schedule performance index and the schedule variance, and we'll be able to find out if projects are ahead of schedule or behind schedule.